Hi guys, and here from Onglo. So today's video is going to be all about a magnetic system filter. Something as excited as that. But to be fair, they are a brilliant piece of kit. Um, so what is a magnetic filter? Um, a magnetic filter is something you would fit to a central heating system um, to help with the assistance in getting rid of debris from uh, an heating system. So that debris generally is going to be something called magnetite or otherwise known as sludge, most commonly known as. Uh, now sludge in an heating system is terrible for a boiler, uh, for breakdowns, uh, makes your radiators inefficient as obviously it creates cool patches so it blocks uh, surface area radiator and generating heat for your room. Um, so that's what a magnetic system filter does, it gets rid of the sludge. Um, it is a very simple device, uh, literally a magnet in a jug. Uh, so to today's video, I'm going to be showing you the Addy MagniClean Professional 2 filter. Now, in my opinion, the Addy filters are the best on the market. Uh, they were the, the first ones ever made. I mean, been, it's not a new item, but the Addy Mag MagniClean filter is a brilliant piece of kit. So it is the Professional 2 version I'm going to be showing you today. Uh, this is a pack that I bought uh, the other day from a merchant. Now sometimes you get promotional packs like this one where you get the chemicals included. So I know you're all asking now, what's in the box, Andrew? Well, I'm going to show you. So in the box, you'll get the actual main filter, which is, let's see it zooms in, uh, the Addy Professional 2 canister. So this is where all the magic's going to happen for the filter. So in this filter there is a magnet um, on this um, collar here, uh, which we can take out. It's the unscrew the lid. That's how strong I am. <coughs> so literally that will be piped in to the, the pipe work. Best place to fit the filter is on the return, main return back to the boiler. Uh, so what I'm talking about, if you're on a combination boiler, you want to fit it just underneath the boiler. Um, and the reason why you fit it on the return, uh, when the boiler's pumping on the floor out from the boiler, eventually all that water is going to be coming uh, on the return side back into the boiler. So the, how it works is it goes back through the return, back through the filter, filtering all that water before it goes back into the boiler. So all this is, like I said, it's a magnet and a jug. Very strong magnet on there. Just to show you how strong that magnet is. I'll find a bit of metal. Okay. So we're looking for some steel. So this is just an out key. And that is how strong it is. It's a really strong magnet, what you get on the, on the filter. Goes on like that. So when it's inside the canister, the water is going to be flowing through flowing through that section there on the pipe work, up through the filter, back out, back into the boiler. So it goes through this swirly thing in here. Uh, I don't know what the proper, uh, proper name is for it. But it goes all the way around, filters all the way around, the cyclone effect going through the filter. And then it draws all the particles out. That just sits in there. Just screws on. On the top of it as well, you'll notice that there is a bleed in point, uh, so that's just a normal radiator key, what you would put in there. So after the, the filter's been fitted, that's what you would use. Just a normal key on the top, just to open it up, and that's where you would bleed it from. The bottom, I'll show you what you do with that, is, let me find that, is a drain plug. So the beauty about this uh, filter as well is you can put chemicals straight into the canister and it generally does take um, a naddy, can um, so whether it be clean you're putting in or once we fitted this you would generally put some uh, inhibitor in um, just tip your, fil your, your chemicals straight in, uh, magnet back inside and away you go, it's as easy as that. So what else do you get in the box? Main canister. Two spanners, which remember to put them somewhere accessible for when you do need to service the uh, filter at some point. 
that's going to be for the main lid on the top to undo the canister this does three things undo the drain plug at the bottom and also inside the box is the main manifold for the filter so this these two brass stems here is where the filter will push on to once it's fitted on the top pipe so all of this is is push fit fittings so i have done another tutorial on how to use push fit fittings and it's got the normal collars on if you see when you flop down so like a normal john guest fitting that's a reduce to disengage the filter from the actual uh, manifold as well so you get that and also you'll get this device here which once you've fitted it on the pipe work it pushes over those brass stems as you can see how it fits on there and what that does once the filter is engaged onto the uh, manifold obviously now if you wanted to take that off you'd have to push in them collars there and one at the bottom so unless you're an octopus and got loads of hands to be able to disengage that they've created this just hold it against the filter like so pulls in both of those collars so you can disengage it simple as that brilliant design you've got if you see this here you've got like a black um straight or whatever you call it I don't, I don't even know all, all but all that for that is not actually carrying water whatsoever it's just that in this situation you fit it on a straight piece of pipe but if you've got a piece of pipe uh, that you're fitting it on that's off center for example you can take that out and all it does is expose these lugs here so you can fit those pipes off center if you wanted to like so so now I'm going to show you how to fit the valve and it's, it is an easy uh, component to fit. Um, first of all, what before you did fit the fitting, don't forget to drain it because if you just cut straight in the pipe, uh, you can have a massive flood. Obviously, uh, so watch my other video on um, how to drain an eating system correctly. Uh, so that's what you need to do first before you decide where to fit it. The other thing where you need to know to fit it, obviously best place for it is on the return pipe to the boiler. Um, so protecting the boiler as it's coming back it out the returns coming back into the boiler you also need to decide to make sure once this uh, is fitted just put that on there so it's easy for them to get off so once that's fitted you need to make sure there's enough clearance from the canister to the underside of the boiler so once it's fitted you're unscrewing that you're servicing it so you can disengage the magnet from the body because I've had it before where it's too close to the boiler you just can't get it out so it's uh, an use and an ornament then so you want to make sure it's fitted properly that you can disengage the magnet so that's the first thing you need to decide um, in the manual uh, it tells you to cut out um, a gap of 150 millimeters uh, distance from the pipe work so for example now I'm not going to bother measuring well I am going to measure it pipe I'm going to show you 150 millimeters so we're assuming this were a straight piece of pipe like that we would mark I ain't got a pencil but um, you would mark 150 millimeters gap then you would chop that out of the pipe work giving you 150 mil millimeters gap in fact let me just move the camera around So then you would have a 150 millimeter gap in your pipe work to put the filter in. I would always fit it without the canister attached, so we'll take that off now. So again, all you would do is fit the B side on the pipe first. So again, all of these are is a compression fitting. with uh, a nut and olive Pack the pipe first your olive again I've done another video on how to fit a compression fitting put that on there screw that side in and then you would put your other side into your pipe after that tighten them up um, so you've got a nice watertight connection 
you're going to left with be left with something like this two brass stems there i'm looking for this the tool that goes up at top so you can disengage the push fit fittings that goes on like that so the red nut is is at the front and then you would simply push on the canister so that's how easy it is to fit the uh, the, the actual main magna clean uh, on the boiler well under the boiler i should say so then you would be left with these two isolation valves here so what these two isolation valves are for is for servicing purposes so when you have uh, fitted the, the the filter purged it all through through the uh, bleed at the top when you come to two years time three years time to to clean the magnet off all you would do is turn these valves so they're facing the canister so when they're facing the canister you've isolated the filter so that's when this other little spanner comes in handy again obviously when you come to turn it off they're going to be like this facing up so you're going to service it turn them both to off you would see go from green color as well i don't think you can see that actually it goes from a green to a red but so long as you know that it's facing the canister you know it's off and then now that canister would be isolated from the actual heating system what I would do then before I took off the, the lid is to get your uh, bleed key, open up that vent at the top. You would release any excess pressure within that canister, which uh, then allows you to then disengage the top section of the filter. You would then take that to a tap and that would be obviously not, not nice and clean like that but full of um, black sludge and everything else. Pull off the sleeve, wash it out under the kitchen tap or wherever you want to do it. Reverse order, put it back in. Before you did that, what you could do is now we're assuming we've, we've cleaned the magnet off. We come back to the canister but before you put the magnet back in, if you assumed that that, that canister is still going to have water in it. Uh, from what's been left in when you've took the magnet out. We we'll take off the drain plug at the bottom so you're getting you something to catch the water underneath, uh, a bowl or a bucket or something like that. Take off that. And that then would drain the canister. There's literally an hole in there now. So that would drain the canister, put the draining plug back in so that canister would now be empty so you could dose it up again with some uh, Addy uh, protection uh, protector sorry uh, which literally inhibitor tip that back inside the canister uh, that would that professional tool as well We'll take a full uh, tub of this. Put the magnet back in. Just a rubber o-ring that uh, secures that. Tighten it back up with the spanner as well. And then now, once you've done that, you're going to be wanting to test it for, for tightness uh, to make sure it's not uh, leaking. So turn these valves back to on from uh, red to green. That valve then would be live again then you would uh, uh, bleed the canister with the bleed again at the top and that is how easy it is to fit one of these bad boys they are good good piece of kit such a simple uh, design and i think that's why it works so well um just a magnet in a jug pulls out all those uh, magnetic particles that are going to be stuck in there um and away you go it's protecting the whole heating system not just the boiler and it's because it obviously all the return and that's coming back from the uh, radiator as well would eventually pass through the boiler so it's even uh, collecting debris from that as well so i just want to say again thanks for for watching and uh, i will be doing some other uh, product product demonstrations of uh, uh, other products i'm going to be doing one soon on a drayton zone valve so again guys thanks for watching please subscribe um, and give us a like if you found this video helpful in any way so again thanks for watching see you soon